Miguel Grau, congratulations. 4 nil today. What just happened in the first half? It was amazing. Kiddos, first of all, I think in our first half the team was showing everybody the thing that we watched in the trainings. And we were really happy for play at home. Our players really won't play in our stadium. And the feeling was since the beginning. I think when the players were here at the beginning, they, they went to go to the warm-up, they went to go to the game, and they were really, really happy for play here. And I think our first half was good, really good in my opinion. And also, I think maybe the score was short for the chances that we had, but also it was good because we create a lot. And I think that's the, that's the thing. Now the team is happy. Now they have to enjoy the victory today and tomorrow they have to think in Hojiko is next Tuesday and the next one. You said before the match that uh, Fields' condition isn't so good that you need to change something in an Inter's game. So what was the game that could you tell? We changed our building up changing the position for Juicy and Tommy and we take something over there for do it easy and also have more runs behind the line for be ready the pitch is so soft because we didn't know before because we cannot train and also we were walking here but also was with the blanket and also you can get a little bit feeling like a coach you can explain this to the keep to the team but the real scenario you get it in the warm-up and also you, you need a plan for if you can play, you cannot play like you want. And also we change this and also we create the overload in one side and it was good. And also we move the team and also you get more, more spaces in the other way. And also Tammy was running really good behind the line, fixing the line. And this allowed more space for other players and we, it was working today. You always like to uh, talk about the team, but today Petteri assisted four goals in 15 minutes. What do you want to say about Petteri? I think everybody knows Pep. No? That's the thing that we want. We allow Pep in some position for, for Dula today. I think he knows he's important when he's like today and the team wants him because he can assist a lot, but also when he resides the ball, he has option in short, in long, in medium, in all the spaces in the pitch, and that's the important. He can decide better after that. And he was an amazing game, but also everybody put the focus in attack, but I would say that he was a really good game in, in defense. He was running all the time back when he has to do it, and also when some spaces in the middle he has to cover it, he was and it was good also in defense. The balance in between attack and defense allow him more time for stay in in attack, and that's that's nice. Eight goals in two matches. Attack is the best defense. At the beginning, some of you ask about we ca we cannot score, or, but the chances was. Now, uh, I think we score a lot. Yes, maybe today we create a lot of chances. Maybe last week. With Hojiko, it wasn't too much, but we take advance a lot of the chances. I think the team is in the good mood, and now we have to take advance of that. Don't be crazy. Next game is the most important game. It's not because it's Hojiko, it's because it's the next game, and everybody has to enjoy today and work hard tomorrow. Any questions? Yes, uh uh, this was your for first game on the, on the real grass instead of the artificial grass. Do you think your team fits better in, a, in the grass than on the artificial pitch? <laughs> I didn't know before, you know. <laughs> we were not training here in the natural grass, but also our, our team is, is going to be even better, in my opinion, when, when the pitch is going to be really really perfect because we have players for try to keep the ball and attack spaces and and be attacking team and also if the pitch is even good you have more more option for 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 try to to prepare the games that's that's a, my, my point but maybe always the quality players play better in natural grass always 
that's, that's the real scenario when you have quality, you play better in, in natural grass. That's why the football is in natural grass. Not here sometimes because the weather, but when you play in a, the best scenarios are in natural grass. Thanks. Kidos. Thank Kidos. Like you said, Inter has a really good, a lot of threat in the attack. They have better clubs that they've been in jail and Matias Tamine has played well, so they're quite hard to defend. Yeah. So, did you have to adjust your game for that, or should you have adjusted the game for that? Or? I don't know, it's, it's, I think it's about, I mean, we, we know about, I think we stopped. Stopped like Petteri getting on the ball too much in the pockets that he loves. Uh, that was of course one one part of defense. We, we did that, but we just couldn't handle the balls into the box and the longer ones. And Shelman is really strong going forward and Tamanen as well. And we, we we lost the duels. Uh, I think it's more about to individual duels lost more than more than uh, outplayed. Really, they, they were just so. For one period, they were just too strong for us. Well, your start of season before this has been quite good, no defeats thus far. But how would you describe how, uh, how happy are we with the total start of the season? The total, of course, we would like more points, especially the first two games where we should have won them both and ended up with draws because we missed so many good goal scoring opportunities. But, but overall, first four games we have defended really, really good, conceded three goals, and then all of a sudden we. So for 270 minutes we concede, no, 360 minutes we concede three goals. And now we concede three goals in five minutes. So it's, it's a big difference, of course. So, so all went wrong for a short period, but it happens. It happens in football and, and the important thing now is how we deal with it and how we bounce back from this. Um, and today I think we had a much improved second half. Uh, of course the game was already over, but the thing for the boys inside was to show some pride. And, don't get embarrassed in another half of a game. So I think I think they handled that in a good way and really showed some pride for, for, for themselves and for the teammates and for the club. We're just working for those second 45 minutes. And, and uh, I guess that's the positive from this game. Uh, we made three subs half time to make something happen. I think the boys came in helped. So that is the, the positive I would take from it. Uh, otherwise, of course, it's, it's tough. Thank you. Kiitos. Kiitos. Kiitos.